Well, new at noon, Dollar Tree workers are asking for better pay and safer working conditions. They rallied outside the company's headquarters in Chesapeake with a list of demands for company executives. Casey Baylor lays out the changes they'd like to see at company stores. I can't live off of breadcrumbs. I can't live off of the wages they give us. A small group of current and former employees with Dollar Tree and Family Dollar lined up along Volvo Parkway in Chesapeake Tuesday. They say they are frustrated with the safety conditions at their stores. Neil Ogeron, who works at a Family Dollar in Louisiana, says he feels overworked at his job. It's gotten so bad that my shoes are like that. He and others say they are struggling to make ends meet. I can't afford the money to even get new shoes. I had to move back in with my parents because I couldn't afford my apartment no more. Despite seeing a recent pay increase, these workers say their hours are getting cut, so they are not seeing a difference in their paychecks. You're not really helping me if you're cutting my hours. Ronald Johnson, a former employee, says violence in the workplace is another issue. He and my manager have broke up so many fights. The organization has a list of demands they want Dollar Tree executives to address. It includes improved infrastructure, a $25 minimum wage, mental health resources, and time off when exposed to a violent incident at their store. They work more than one hat. They're not only the cashier, they're the security guard, and they're also the stalker, and they also are greeters. So it's important that the workers are treated fairly. Ogeron hopes company leaders will consider their concerns and make changes soon. And get the security we need, get the safety and more wages for every do dollar store. I reached out to Dollar Tree executives for comment. A company spokesperson says in part, quote, we're making significant investments to continuously improve our associate experience. We are focused on a safety first culture that protects our teams with investments in technology training and ongoing support. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now.